Hello YouTube, 3D Printed Life here, and today I'm going to be bringing you some building tips for your cubed 1-up or 2-up. Here it is, all built, as you can see. Um, and here's my list of tips, just that one. Um, don't bother reading it though, because I will talk about each one in better detail. Um, first of all, when you get your kit, uh, you will have about three bags, one big bag and two small bags of these MDF pieces. They are very dirty when you get them. Uh, there is some kind of coating, some better light. Um, there is a coating to the melamine, kind of like a uh, greasy coating on top, which is pretty dirty at first. Um, and these edges are laser cut, so there is some soot. So definitely, as you can see, they're clean now. Um, get a few damp paper towels, you'll probably need like a lot, and uh, clean those up once you get them. It's definitely worth the trouble. And uh, be careful what you're wearing when you build it, because you'll probably get some on your clothes. Um, two, before you build it, uh, get some rubbing alcohol, regular alcohol, <laughs> whatever you want, and decrease, degrease the exterior of the linear bearings, um, because you are definitely going to want to glue those, we'll get into that later. Uh, number three, separate the two linear rods that have tapped ends. Uh, these two vertical rods, oh, behind that one, have tapped ends. Uh, if you have a one-up, it won't be a problem, because these rods are the longest, but if you have a two up, two up, they are all the same length. And I accidentally put the tapped ones on the bottom without realizing it, so I had to cut the zip ties and move them around, and it was a big hassle um, because I didn't really have enough zip ties. Um, number four. Um, in this bed, the holes in this bed are a little bit too tight. Uh, you want them to be loose on the bed portion, this top portion. Uh, you don't want the screw to stick to it. Um, as you can see, it can kind of move. Um, it's under a bit of tension from this. Move this one. Yeah, there we go. So you see, you want it to be able to move freely so that it's always pushing up against the top of the screw. Um, but when they come from the packaging, they're too tight and they actually thread with the screw. So they won't stick up like this if you screw it in. It'll be like this. And if you keep loosening it, it won't move. The screw will only move. So what you want to do is you want to either over tighten the screws in just this top part of the bed, only this part of the bed. Um, and that will kind of strip out the hole and make it bigger, and then you can push the screws in and out a bit until it gets loosened up, or grab a drill with a slightly bigger bit. You also want to do that for there is a slot. You can kind of see it underneath this washer. Um, same thing goes, it's pretty tight, you want it to be looser, so just same thing, kind of uh, widen that hole a bit. You don't have to see that, that's what I'm looking at. Um, Next one, when you are putting together the x-axis assembly, screw in this piece first um, with the bearings and the um, washers on it. Uh, just because you want this to be perfectly straight. If it's not, you will have issues with uh, slipping, um, which quite a few people have said because this went in crooked. Um, some fixes, if you do grow in crooked, you can buy a longer bolt and have it go through the back. Let's see if I can you can see that. I can't see it, so hopefully you can see it. But there's room for it to go a little bit further. Um, so what I actually did was I put this on first, put the belt around, and then I tried to hook it over the, the top end of this uh, pulley, um, which is probably your best bet. It is a bit difficult, but it does ensure that this will be in perfectly straight. Um, alternatively, you can screw this in, unscrew it, then put the belts around both and then screw it back in, hopefully using the same threads you already made. Um, the next thing is super glue is your best friend. Uh, the zip ties don't really hold the bearings too tightly, uh, nor the rods, so once you get everything good and set, take this gantry off, take it completely off the top, and uh, super glue these bearings in place, both sides. Uh, make sure you get it nice and good, and also I would recommend super gluing it from the back side too. Um, this goes for these two bearings, this one bearing, and then the two bearings that are underneath the bed. You can't see them, but I promise they're in there somewhere. There you go. Like that. Um, super glue them from the sides and from the bottom going up. And make sure you do it when there is no pressure or when this the bed is balanced center so that it doesn't end up tilted or something silly like that. Um, next thing is... Uh, when you assemble the x-axis and you zip tie these bearings on, 
uh, you want the, the fat end to be on this side, not on the other side. Because if you do what I did and put them on the other side, uh, let's see, can you see that? There we go. As you can see, these zip ties will hit the MDF here, and it will prevent it from going the full travel distance. Uh, can't tell if it's the same down there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go around the back side, so it's difficult for me to see, but... Yeah, so you want the, the fat part, the locking part of the zip ties to be on this side, and that should avoid that problem. Um, you might be able to do, get away with that on the bottom, too. It might just be more difficult to get your hands in there. Um, next thing, missing parts. Um, the January kits appear to all be missing two of the smaller acrylic washers, which go in here behind this big washer. There's a smaller one in the bearing, and they go on the original bearing mount here. Um, but you don't need them on the idler right away. So what I would recommend is uh, putting them on this guy, uh, printing out a replacement one as soon as possible. You also need longer screws for this, by the way. Um, 12 millimeter recommended. And then uh, take the bearings since you no longer need them here, and then put two of them on here and you'll have two left over. Um, so that works well. Also, two 30 millimeter long screws to hold in the hot end, around 45 millimeter long, I forget. Uh, those aren't necessary at all. This thing is very well in there. Um, it probably would help to have the screws, but honestly, I haven't seen any issues uh, printing and none of the screws in. So, uh, that's not really a bad thing at all. Um, and then finally, there's a fan bracket that was supposedly going to be included, but uh, Cubed said that it would just be easier for you to print your own, so they are going to put uh, an SDL file up eventually, but there's already quite a few out that you can print. Uh, some use the screws here. One you screw into one of these holes, but it's on the bottom of the or the carriage, uh, and the final you just kind of tape onto this back piece, and then it holds the fan in place. Um, so those are all very good alternatives. Uh, next, do not, do not glue this rod to the stepper. As you can see, there's a hole. This is supposed to be on the bottom. Don't glue it. Bad, bad. Because this hole probably is not perfectly center, and you have a ton of Z-wobble if you glue it, and you won't be able to get it off because glue is strong. So, um, just kind of push it on a little bit and try not to push it too far because it's still a little bit difficult to get off and then print a coupling as soon as possible. And the final thing for the belt. Attaching the belt to the gantry is pretty difficult. Um, well, not really difficult. It's kind of difficult to think of a good way to attach it. Uh, what I found works pretty well is using some double-sided tape. Well, look at that. I just had some handy. Uh, <laughs> Put, cut a strip of double-sided tape in half, uh, lengthwise so that it's thinner, place it on the belt, like that, and then push the belt down and slide the, the carriage over top, and then push it on. That's a temporary solution. That is for the day you build it if you just want to get it up and running. Um, overnight, take off that tape. Um, it's easy to just kind of push down on the belt to take it off. Uh, put it, same thing, dab a hot glue about one centimeter long along this belt. Do the same thing, push the belt down, slide the carriage over, push it up. And that will hold it very nicely. Um, so that is all the build tips for now. That should help you get you on your way to uh, successfully building your cubed one up or two up. Uh, keep in mind different sizes so they are slightly different process. Um, and I also would recommend reading over the instructions first. Uh, I will be including over the next few videos a kit in the description of basically all the resources you'll need to build your cubed one up two up and connect it to your PC. Uh, coming later today will be a tutorial on how to connect your cubed two up or one up to your PC and get the drivers working uh, and get your first moves in. And then over the next few days, I'll be teaching you how to use uh, reps to your host and slicer, um, basic printing settings, um, diagnosing prints and all that sort of stuff. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed and you'd like to see more, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, let me know how I'm doing, and I will see you all later.